In this video, I will talk about my most recent acquisition. It is a porcelain plate made by the Paris firm of Edme Samson. It would be dated somewhere in the middle of the 19th century. Samson opened his porcelain factory in Paris in 1845 with the express purpose of copying and reproducing exclusive wares of the Meissen, Sevres, Chelsea, Worcester and Derby potteries in England and Europe, uh, and he also copied Chinese Famille Wert and Japanese Imari porcelains. He claimed to be a copyist and not a forger of ceramic works, but many of his works have been passed off as original. Much was marked with an S, but much was instead marked with the mark of the factory whose work he was copying. This plate is a copy of a Worcester scale blue exotic birds plate. So if you were going to buy one of these plates, how would you determine if it was Worcester or Samson? The most significant thing to point out then is that Samson wares were all made in hard paste porcelain. And Worcester porcelain was of course a soft paste, steatitic porcelain body. The secret of Chinese hard paste porcelain had long been discovered at, at Meissen in 1708 to be precise. So it was well known by the time Samson began his manufactory. People often ask me, what is the difference and how do you tell? Well, soft paste has ingredients such as soapstone or a frit, which is a type of ground glass uh, in a mixture of white clay, to make a clay body which renders it translucent after firing. Hard paste porcelain has just two ingredients, white china clay or kaolin and felspar or petunce. A clay body made of these two mineral compounds naturally fires to a translucent finish and is fired at considerably higher temperatures than the soft paste body. Experience in handling the two types of porcelains will give you the feel for it. Hard paste is usually perhaps colder and heavier and the colour of the translucency is usually whiter and that is a good guide. I often apply the tooth test. Uh, this, this is the tooth test. Um, <laughs> and there is a distinct uh, difference to be noticed when you do that. My friend, antique dealer and society member, George O'Kinney passed, passed on this tip to me way back in the 1970s. Having a Worcester plate as well uh, enables me to make and show you the comparisons between the two plates. But first of all, uh, here are some of the features of the Samson plate. The enameled reserves are expertly done, but I would say that the birds are generally smaller than you would find on the Worcester originals. And no doubt Samson had a team of extremely skilled and talented enamelers whose expertise can also be seen on many other examples of Samson porcelain. These two photographs show the noticeable difference between the translucency of the porcelain of the two plates. The gilding is heavier than on the Worcester. The mark on the Samson plate is a very blurred copy of a Worcester square mark. Was this done on purpose? And there are two small blue dots probably applied by the painter of the cobalt. The treatment for the scale blue in underglaze cobalt blue is also quite different as you can see here. And in conclusion, let me show you one more example of a Samson copy 
of a Worcester plate. And I'm sure you'll agree that these are the things that make collecting ceramics an interesting and worthwhile pastime.